Hi, this is Tahir. Uh, let's review the hosting controller newly developed uh, product Active Directory Self Service Portal. We can view the information uh, by accessing the hosting controller website. Uh, under the product section, uh, you can see ED Self Service Portal. This is a very uh, convenient product for an IT companies to reduce the support request to administrate AD modification request. AD self service allow uh, uh, AD user to change uh, password, modify AD profile, and unlock their AD accounts. Uh, whole uh, this information is listed on this website. The key feature of the admin interface and user interface. But let's start with a uh, from the beginning. Uh, to install uh, this application on a uh, on our machine uh, this application can be installed on any machine even on your personal system as well there is no need uh, that uh, this uh, standalone machine should be a part of the domain controller so it can uh, be residing at any location and it will communicate with the domain controller using LDAP protocol uh, at the back end, this application uses a SQL Server uh, to store its database and uh, you can have uh, any SQL version, even a SQL free edition, which is SQL Express or any latest version 2019, 2020 as well. To install the application, just right click on it, uh, run as an administrator. By the way, uh, ASP.NET 4.8 should be installed as well uh, on this machine because uh, this application is purely developed in MVC. So on this section, it will ask for the database credentials. Insert the SQL Server uh, connectivity information. SQL administrator credentials. The installation is very simple. Uh, just few clicks uh, after you inserting the uh, database connectivity. After the uh, completion of installation, uh, there will be uh, two different URL. Uh, one URL is to access the uh, system administrator interface and the second is uh, for the customer facing URL. And we can see uh, the website in the IS manager. This is the website. If you want to uh, bind this website uh, on any other address, then you can simply modify its binding. Okay, so let's open uh, the address. In uh, I will open in uh, any other application. Microsoft Edge. Okay, remember that this address will be for the uh, to access the uh, system administrator uh, of this tool. First time uh, you can log in uh, with this uh, utility with the username admin and password admin and once you log in it will enforce to change the administrator password. Here we can set the new password. Okay, for the first time, after we access, uh, we need to add the domain controller. Remember that we can have um, we can add multiple domain controller 
to different domain controller to allow uh, that particular domain user to access the interface and modify their Active Directory attribute, password or unlock their AD users. So uh, let's add uh, one uh, domain controller. I have uh, my test domain controller. This is my lab domain controller and let me insert its credentials. Okay, uh, insert the fully qualified domain name here. Uh, insert the uh, admin credentials. This is the step where our application will connect with this domain controller using a LEP protocol. If you have configured the uh, certificate at the domain controller, then you can uh, uh, export the certificate and apply on this machine where uh, uh, this application is installed, then you can connect using TLS or SSL protocol. For now, I will uh, go without uh, this setting and click on check connectivity. After the successful connection, I will insert the domain controller uh, FQDN below and give any uh, user friendly name to this domain controller. So at this uh, stage, uh, I have added the domain controller. Uh, after this customer uh, of this AD can access the interface and enroll themselves to perform uh, different action but uh, going to the customer interface let's see uh, what option and feature is available at the ad admin interface dashboard uh, you can see the uh, total activity has been performed uh, uh, on monthly basis uh, total user enrolled our uh, license capacity information can be visible uh, as well as other daily activity that user has performed uh, in this portal will be displayed on the dashboard. In the configuration section, uh, there are a different policy like a basic policy where you can uh, define whether user can update their profile, change password, reset password, you can enable or disable any particular uh, policy uh, for the customer. And in advanced policy, you can define the uh, number of attempt, for example, uh, invalid attempt to block any users uh, this is a very basic uh, settings that you can uh, specify as per your company policy password policy you can uh, set any set of uh, policy to enforce customer to uh, when they change the password then this uh, password policy should be enforced by the uh, active directory self-service portal for the profile, uh, these are, uh, you can enable or disable uh, any profile uh, in case you want that, uh, let's say, a uh, pager should not be displayed in the customer uh, interface, then you can simply disable it. Uh, other application or other attributes uh, like company which is not enabled, you can simply turn it on or turn it off as per it is very easy to configurable so once it is done then let's move to another section multi-factor authentication uh, there are uh, uh, predefined multi-factor uh, multi authentications type um, also you can uh, integrate any sms gateway of your region uh, to send any uh, verification code uh, in case customer want to unlock uh, their uh, 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 their account or uh, at the time of login that multiple factor can be enabled uh, at this particular action uh, the given uh, multi-factor authentication microsoft authenticator google authenticator or ad security questions uh, this uh, at the first time when user will enroll these question will be uh, set of question will be displayed at the customer interface in the admin section uh, the uh, administrator can modify its password uh, 
display setting it is very easy to rename uh, any text that is visible on the ui uh, even you can have uh, the language in any other language you can simply add the language uh, google recapture you can uh, enable or disable for any particular section uh, in here uh, product license key uh, this is this application product license key which is apply on number of enroll ad object exception uh, if there any error appear on the ui then that particular error will be captured and display in here smtp configuration you can set this setting uh, whenever any activity has been performed by the utility and send email notification so it's better to configure the smtp setting different type of audit reporting is uh, uh, provided in this interface uh, where you can apply filter uh, by applying the condition on dates month weekly or daily or even you can uh, search an action for a particular user different type of auditing reporting is available in this section so now let's jump to the uh, customer interface now let's see that uh, how a ad object win will enroll uh, in this application to perform different action let me go to the uh, the my test lab ad let me reset one of the user password so uh, we could access it I don't remember the password that's why I'm resetting if you know the password then you do not need to perform this action and can log in directly at the customer interface so this is the uh, customer facing interface remember that this whole interface is very easy to customize you can change the logo or color schema as well so let's uh, try to log in Also, if customer uh, once a user as in uh, has enrolled, then uh, if he forgot the password, then uh, uh, he can reset its password without uh, opening an incident or support ticket to the uh, system administrator. So once we log in, uh, there will be uh, in our configuration we have enabled to uh, security question. Uh, this question will be used in case customer uh, try to reset a password or unlock uh, their uh, ad account so insert any questions and click enroll once it is enrolled then this users can perform uh, those different action they can change their ad uh, image uh, edit the profile let's try to edit the profile so uh, you can modify a uh, different value any value you set here okay extension attribute company name and click save setting we can verify whether this value has been updated in the ad or not let's go to my test domain controller this was the account these are the values that i have modified let's see the extension attribute See, uh, these are the test values that I have given in the profile and country etc has been set so uh, let, let's change the password as well it will ask for the existing password we can insert the new password password has been modified now we can 
re-login with the uh, new account so we have successfully accessed the new account now let's see to modify the image image has been updated and this interface uh, if we try to uh, go back to the add one interface uh, and go to the dashboard section refresh it it has updated the statistics for the activity that has been performed if you have any question feel free to ask thank you